Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to a new gadget inside called Gadget called Sydney, which is a loop sampler machine. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, indeed, Cork Gadget has been updated with new functionality and it is also introducing two new gadgets. One is called Sydney, which is a loop sampler machine. As you can see, we are inside Cork Gadget. If I exit this particular uh, gadget, you can see we are inside um, Cork Gadget. I've just created a simple track and I added uh, this Sydney uh, gadget and this is what it looks like this is the interface and if i minimize the interface this is um, what i was playing a moment ago which i can zoom out to show you all the 16 measures and then on the left hand side you can see six rows which represent the uh, six uh, samples that you can trigger and of course these are notes on the piano on the piano roll and when the notes are triggered that particular sample is triggered so for example this one is triggered uh, this note here is triggering this sample which of course you can also audition clicking here on the left hand side now back to the interface it's really nice very straightforward so at the bottom here you see the samples that you can trigger up to six simultaneously this is the first one second one and of course, you can see the waveform which is changing in the middle, showing the sample that is being played. Now, the great news is that this is also supported as a UV3. So back inside AUM, I just have an audio... Um, channel now let's search for sydney like so and you find it over there as well under the category of korg and now we open it up and maximize it and there we have we have now the um sydney loop sampler machine inside as an auv3 now if you connect it to the inside keyboard of aum then what you find is if you scroll down where it says c2 and here on the keyboard, then you have mapped the samples directly on the keyboard. Now, of course, you need to be careful in terms of timing here, of course, because you have a sync against, of course, a, a UM. But the great thing is now that you can use uh, the sampler machine inside uh, as other gadgets, I should say, inside a host as a, an AUV3. And you can see also when it is inside as a host, you can click here on this icon and it shows you also all the CC MIDI assignment, which is great because then you can map them against uh, one of your external controller. So this is absolutely great news. Back inside Korg Gadget, so let's go through a little bit what um, it looks like as an interface. So let's start here from the top left. You have a main view and then you have a mixer view. The mixer view is straightforward. You have the six channel here. You can click on each one and choose, of course, the sample that you want to be played. And you can go by category. You can go by factory ones, also by local ones, which you uh, can import, which I will show you in a moment. And then you can select them, of course, for each of the different channels or tracks inside your local you can adjust the level of course the tuning the pan and of course then you can enable effect or not if you want the effect uh, that uh, sample to go through the effects or not course that depends on the effect that is selected here you have a master of course in terms of volume and here in the middle you have a selection of um, as you can see of uh, your uh, preset i was playing number 12 but there are so many that you can enjoy <laughs> And of course, you can go up 
and down and then of course you can import export or save them as well you have your factory one and also your user defined one which is superb now back to the main view now here on the bottom right in the middle you have effect this is the equivalent of turning on and off the effect that you see here okay so that is easy to actually navigate and you can see here at the moment number three was selected now the effect is off if we go to mixer you can see number three the effect is off okay so uh, the top stays the same with uh, the navigation of the presets here or programs up and down and the master and of course at the bottom you have the selection of the um, samples that you can trigger in the middle you have this view of the waveform which i'll go through in a moment you can still adjust the level the pan the tuning but then you can also decide the effect um routine so you can actually apply only effects lo-fi or lo-fi and effect and then for each of the effect and lo-fi you can decide which one you can apply so for example for effect you can choose to bypass it of course you have peak eq uh two band eq low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter you have a comb filter compressor tube drive distortion decimator ring modulation torque uh, box, uh, chorus flange, ensemble, phaser, auto panning, which is great, tremolo pump, or slicer effect, grain shift, sh different type of delays, and different type, of course, of reverb. Then, of course, if when you choose an effect, then you can change um, two parameters. So, for example, in this case, for the reverb, the first one will change the time, and the second one will change the level. And then similarly, you have lo-fi, which of course you can bypass, or you can, of course, apply one type of um, lo-fi, digital one. Of course, we need to select to go through. Uh, let's say, let's go through only uh, lo-fi. You can hear the lo-fi applied again similarly you can apply effect or combined so let's try some of uh, the effect the symmetry in this case or low pass filter In this case, you adjust the frequency and, of course, the resonance as well. But you have so many different facts, which is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Talk modulator or box. Here you have formant adjustment and then you have a set. <laughs> So, but the beauty is that you have so many different sound programs. Now, you also have access to an init program. If you scroll down, you find the number 34. That is your init kit, which is empty. And this gives you the ability, of course, to start from fresh, which is what I'm going to do now. So starting to... Um, from the top left of this view, it says sample. You can click where it says no applicable, and then you can choose a sample. Again, factory, local, categories, etc. Now, let's go to local. As you can see, I have already imported a number of uh, wave uh, files. Here, you can click on this icon. You can sort, import from audio share, others, create a new folder. Okay, you can search. Of course, and then, then you can click here and then you can select uh, different files. And then when you select them, you can decide if you want to move, copy or delete. So you can do some file management. Now, this one is quite interesting. Look, 27 megabyte. OK, and uh, if you click, you can see it is now loaded against sample or um, sorry, instead of loop number three. So it's quite interesting because it is actually quite uh, a, a long sample, a large sample, and um, it works really well. 
So let's load another um, program. Let's try. Let's try actually the uh, one which I had earlier on because I know it quite well. And uh, let's. Let's try. Now you have usual things here. You can adjust bit per minute. You can also adjust the sync as well, which of course uh, these are reflected also in uh, your host as well. You can, you can adjust the start here or playing also the length. You can uh, hold and then you can move up and down like so, right? You can also adjust the looping point. You can decide that it will the start of the looping will start from a different position. You can have loop on or loop off. And then you can have the moving when it restart from a looping point of view. So the moment is disabled. If you turn it on. You should hear a subtle difference. Of course, it depends on the sample that you have uh, available. Um, you can click reverse. It's nice that it plays in reverse. Of course, you can zoom in and out, and it will change position. Of course, when you select the reverse, you can enable effect on and off as you like. You can have it in gate mode, so you need to hold. To keep the gate open, you can have it as own sh one shot. And you can adjust the attack as well. So you can give it a longer attack. Of course, if that is what of course you like. And you can also act on the release. So when you let go, it will continue. Say so it continues a little bit more, like we can adjust it further. So, and, and, and that's great because it gives you the ability to, of course, to adjust uh, how the sample actually ends. So you can do a uh, smoother uh, transition. So it's, um, it's straightforward in terms of how of, um, using it. And the great thing is that now it's, it is supported as an, a UV3 inside a UM, as you can see. So it gives you a lot of more flexibility. You can integrate it into your production inside other a UV3, for example, inside a, a, a UM or Cubases or Logic Pro etc etc okay i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always see you next time bye